Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Super Menu. So this is a really awesome GUI plugin, which, as you can see here, allows you to create a GUI with lots of different items that do whatever you want. So um, they could teleport you somewhere. They could uh, send you a nice message. Um, they can show you how many people are online, or they could open a shop, play a sound. You know, uh, all of that good stuff. And I always get lots of um, requests to do a GUI plugin, so this one is great, it's free to download and it's highly customizable, uh, so you can either edit it in-game or in the config file. So in the config file you can edit things like uh, everything to do with all of these things and the item that the server menu is and whether you get it when you first join the server. So without further ado, let's do forward slash sm help, which is the command. Uh, so what we can do, we can create uh, new items, we can delete old items, we can enable and disable them. So uh, if we have a look in here, um, <clears throat> this one's called test, it's the one I created. And as you can see, it doesn't do much, so um, if we want to disable it or delete it, we can by doing sm disable and then test and it will be disabled and it won't be there anymore. So uh, if we do SM help 2, this is the most important part. So we can um, look at the tutorial, which is very, very helpful. So instead of having this on the Spigot page, it is in fact uh, in game. So you don't have to keep alt tabbing to be able to set it up, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do, we're going to do SM create and then YT. So um, once we've done that, you can do SM show and then YT. So what this does, it shows you everything about uh, this particular item. So it doesn't have a proper name yet. It doesn't have uh, an item um, to click. It doesn't have any messages, it doesn't have any commands or sounds or uh, anything to do with bungee cords. So uh, let's fix that by doing forward slash sm set id for yt is going to be whatever material we want. So let's set five. Um, so that's obviously wood. And what we can do, we can actually change the metadata. So if you do sm set data uh, and then yt, uh, we can change it from normal oak wood to um, whatever the first one is. I can't remember. Spruce? Is it spruce? Yeah, spruce wood. So uh, if we look at it now, you will see it's now spruce wood. We can obviously go ahead and change that to um, whatever wood this is uh, by doing show yt. This is some other form of wood uh, that I've forgotten, birch wood, that's it. So we're going to have birch. Uh, so once we've done that, we can um, do some other things with it. We can set the display name, which is important. So the name is going to be uh, random item, because uh, it's not really going to do much. Uh, we can set a law, so sm. I think you can actually use color code, so let's go ahead and do that. So and a and l. And if we click on show, you can see that uh, the color codes have worked and it's got a name. So that's very cool. Uh, you can add um, a law. So let's do sm add law for yt and we're just going to write something random. And in the background you can probably hear my mechanical keyboard. It's very loud and it's right next to my microphone. So um, sorry about that, but we are going to carry on and add commands. So this is the most important bit, so it actually does something rather than just sits there and looks pretty. So add cmd uh, for yt and you can literally add anything you want. So maybe um, you could say hi, like that. You could do um, maybe warp, maybe home, so forming the home command or performing uh, a join command for a mini game or something. Um, so yeah, that should work. And you can also set a server. So I obviously don't have bungee cord set up, but if you did, you could um, choose the server by using number eight here, and that would work. So uh, let me see, have we done everything? We've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we haven't done eight. Uh, selecting the slots. So um, as you can see, there are a few empty slots here. So we are going to do sm set slot um, name is going to be yt and slot number 17. And we can set it to glow if we want. Um, not going to do that, but if we do sm show and then yt, you can see that uh, there are commands attached to it now. Uh, there is a law, there are no messages, um, there is no sound, and there is no server switching or any of that malarkey. 
so all we need to do now is SM enable and YT. So once we've done that, um, you can see it's here. And once we do, once we do that, it says hi in chat, and it just um, teleports me back home, which is apparently there. So that is how you add a new item. Um, I think there is a slight glitch with setting the slot at the moment. Uh, as you said, uh, as you can see here, if the item has no slot, it'll be added to a random one. Um, so you can just set that in the config file. So uh, that is how you do it in game. Obviously, you could uh, change all these and um, just edit them to something else. So we are going to have a quick look at the two config files and show you how to change stuff in there. So here we are in the super menu folder and as you can see there are two YML files. So let's go ahead and look at the config. There isn't too much in here. Um, you can obviously change the prefix color if you want. I'm all into lots of different colors. So uh, blue, that's my favorite. That's good. Menu settings, so um, whether it performs the sound, how many rows there, there are. So depending on how many uh, different buttons you want in your menu, uh, you can add more rows or take them away. Um, and the name that appears as the title. So um, if we scroll down a bit more we have the menu item so you can customize this where the players get it on when they join the server, what slot it appears on so if you have other plugins that give them items you might want to change this so it doesn't overlap. The type of um, item so people do have issues when they use a compass because World Edit and World Guard, uh, I think it's World Edit, has a feature where um, Ops and admins, if they have the correct permission, will go flying around the server uh, through walls and through buildings when they left and right click. So uh, what I would suggest is having a nether star or something. As you can see here, if you click this link, it will show you the correct um, material name. So make sure you use the correct name or it won't work. Uh, obviously the data of the material, uh, which we showed in game, you can just change that if you use wood or something the display name and the description. So that's all good and whether you left or right click to open it. So that's uh, straightforward. If we open the menu this is pretty much everything we did in game. So if you find it easier to edit in the config file, uh, which I sometimes do, you can obviously change the item ID, the date of the slot it appears on, the name um, and the law. I would, uh, I'd say editing the law and the commands and all of that would be a lot easier uh, in the config file, whether, whereas the other stuff would be easier in game. Uh, so then we have um, we have the bungee cord one, so that switches to server hub, uh, which I didn't show you in game because obviously you don't have any other servers. And then we have the two I created, and as you can see, it lists all of the enabled ones and the disabled one. So uh, here we have uh, obviously the two I created, the item ID, the data, so uh, two six seven. And data 8 apparently. Um, so yeah you can edit this however you want and yeah so I'm not sure why that's in brackets but uh, I don't know it shouldn't be so we are going to remove that and read brackets and uh, not remove that so make sure you keep the apostrophe uh, there we go so uh, if you don't have the apostrophe there you might have issues but yeah, that is the plugin. Uh, it's easy to use. It's just a nice GUI plugin that's uh, pretty easy and simple to configure. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.